Hello and welcome to your introductory video for History 2111. I'm sorry we could not meet today on the Douglas campus. Uh, we had a last minute situation come up and uh, we'll be online for the next two weeks. I just want to take a couple of minutes of your time to kind of introduce you to the course since I won't be able to do this for a couple of weeks and let you know what to expect, go over the syllabus and show you around a little bit. So. Let me look at the syllabus here and show you everything that's on the syllabus. And syllabus, let's open that up. This is History 2111. Normally we would meet on Thursdays in the Douglas campus, uh, room 161. It's a fairly large lecture hall, which will allow us to spread out and socially distance. And we would normally meet from 1015 to 1130. Uh, my name is Mr. Kennedy. My email address is jason.kennedy at westgatech.edu. I do not have an office in Douglasville. I'm normally on the Carroll campus. And if you're ever on the Carroll campus, you can come visit me room 306E. My office phone number is there as well, but honestly, email is a little better just because I am on the go quite a bit. Let me scroll down. There is a textbook for this class, but it's a free textbook. Here on the syllabus, this is a link that will open it up for you. Here it's called the American Yawp. This is done by Stanford University Press, and as far as textbooks go, it's really not that bad. I've read a lot worse and used a lot worse textbooks. Now, because we are U.S. History 1, we're going to be using the left-hand column here, and each one of these goes to a different chapter. So. I'll just randomly click on one chapter, the Cotton Revolution, and then it's just a regular textbook from here, but it's completely free, which is kind of nice. A little further down, you'll see course attendance and makeup requirements. Uh, to simplify this, to kind of keep the video short for you, you are required to come to class. Uh, attendance equals 5% of your grade. Um, but that comes with a caveat or a asterisk, if you will. If you have to miss class because of COVID-19, that absence is excused. We don't want people coming to class sick. Somebody came to class sick already this week, and that's why we're having to meet online for the first two weeks. So if you have any of the symptoms of COVID-19, if you have been exposed to COVID-19, if you have a positive test for COVID-19, please, please, please stay home. It will be okay. Just let me know that's why you're missing. Below that is plagiarism. Uh, in history especially, plagiarism is a serious offense. Uh, anytime you use somebody else's ideas or if you get information from a source, you need to credit and cite that source. If you don't, then it's considered plagiarism. And it says here, plagiarism is a serious offense. Uh, the penalty in this course for plagiarism or any other infraction of academic integrity will be a grade of zero on that assignment. Incidences of plagiarism will also be reported to the college for disciplinary action. Most students don't intend to plagiarize, but it's your responsibility to make sure it doesn't happen. All work for this course must be original to this course. Coursework from prior semesters or courses may not be reused. I'll simplify that for you. Do your own work. Don't let your neighbors, your friends, uh, your family members do your work. Don't look up your work on Google. Don't use Wikipedia. Don't use bobswebsite.com. None of those people are taking the class you are. So I guarantee anything you submit, no matter how bad you might think it is, it will be better than what you find on the internet and the, I will give you credit for trying even if you don't think it's good. So moral of the story, please always do your own work. You will get credit for it no matter what. Grading. Uh, there are two exams. Each one is worth 20%. That's a total of 40%. There are four short reflection papers. Those are opinion-based papers. Uh, five times four, that gets you your 20%. There is a museum review where you will have to critique a museum website or you will have to critique a historical film. Uh, there's activities. That's a fancy way of saying daily work. So showing up to class, taking notes, 
doing the online discussions, doing the online quizzes, all of that goes into your activities. There is an essay, everybody taking History 2111 will have to do the same essay, whether you're having me as a teacher or one of the online instructors. And then participation, 5%, come to class. If you have perfect attendance, you get bonus points on the participation grade. Okay, as I said, two exams, they are not cumulative. That means that the first half of the class is the first test, second half of the class is the second test. The midterm will cover everything up to ancient Greece. The final exam will start with ancient Rome and go to European exploration. For the reflection papers, there are certain readings you're going to have to do throughout the semester. They are either going to be like news documents or primary source uh, documents. And what I want you to do with a reflection paper is choose one of them a month. You'll see the calendar at the end of the syllabus, but you choose one of the things you've read each time we have a reflection paper due. And you give me your thoughts, your opinions, your ideas on it. Uh, the first paragraph of it, it should be about a page and a half to two pages long, double spaced. Your first paragraph is simply, ha, it's a, a summary. I read this article. Here's what it's about. Give me that information in about a paragraph. For the rest of it, which would probably be about one full page to maybe a page and a half, tell me how you feel about that document. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you make it? Did it make you think about other things? Uh, why do you feel the way you do? And what ideas do you have from it? This is your chance to take time and let me know what you think about something you've read. Uh, part of this class is just getting you to form your own opinions, and the reflection paper is a very important part of that. For the museum exhibit review, it's kind of a two-part thing. It's going to be about three pages long. It's double the length of a reflection paper. For the first half of your museum review, you tell me which museum you went to, or looked at, I should say, or what movie you watched, and what you thought about it. I liked this movie. I hated this website. This movie was way too long. This website didn't have enough stuff. Whatever it might be, the first half of your museum review is... A reflection paper. For the second half of the museum review, you have to put on your historian hat and you have to think like a historian. Um, and I've got some questions for you to consider here, but you're definitely not limited to those questions. Uh, some of the questions that you could think about is, does the museum explain the virtual exhibits adequately? Do you know what you're looking at? Does the layout of the museum's website and virtual exhibits make sense? Do you know where to go? Is the website easy to use? Is there something the museum does very well, or is there something that the virtual museum needs to improve on? If you're watching the movie, you can think, is the movie realistic, or is it Hollywood? And how closely does the movie follow real events? If you watch Apollo 13, you might want to know more about the real happenings of Apollo 13, and you can compare the two together. Activities, once again, that's just participating in the class, doing your discussions, doing your assigned readings, being prepared. The SLO essay, I'm not going to go into detail on right now because it's not due till the end of November. I just want you to know it exists. Uh, throughout the semester, you will be required to write a paper that's five to seven pages long, and it's going to be uh, about the American Revolution says you must complete a five to seven page essay that explains the causes of the American Revolution beginning with the proclamation of 1763 through the Declaration of Independence. So this will be a research paper. Five to seven pages sounds like a lot, but when you start doing your research, you're going to realize you're going to have to cut things out because there are a lot of things that caused the American Revolution. We didn't just wake up one day and say, hmm, it's a good day for a revolution. No, there's a 30 or 40 years of stuff that just builds up until the stick breaks and revolution begins. Extra credit is really, really simple. Uh, you are required to do one museum review. Don't forget that. Everybody has to do one museum review. 
But for extra credit, if you do a second museum review, then I give you two points on your final grade. So let's say you have a 78 going into the final and you're worried about getting a B. Um, you could beg me, please, please, please give me a B. And I'll say, sorry, but that's not how it works. Or you can do the extra credit museum review and you get two points on the final grade. So if you will do the extra credit and you put in the work, I'll make sure I reward you for it. Now the last thing here is the course schedule. This is what we're doing every week. Uh, today's the 13th. Today's our introduction. And normally I'd be doing this in person, but because reasons, I can't. Um, I give you all week to do the work. So you have from uh, Thursday morning at 12 a.m. until Wednesday night at 11.59 p.m. to do all your work. So I do give you one full week. I also see have here some of the due dates or some of the other assignments. So reflection paper one, you can see in bold, that's due on the 2nd of September. Reflection paper two is due on the 30th of September, so on and so on. So make sure you take a look at this. It could change a little bit depending on, you know, what happens this semester if we end up doing more than two weeks online. Uh, so um, I'll do my best to keep this up to date and I will let you know if there are any changes or deviations. A second thing I want you to look at is this COVID-19 syllabus addendum. When we do finally meet in person, hopefully in two weeks, uh, I'll have this printed out for you and you're going to have to sign a copy of it. Uh, to make things simple, um, stay home if you're feeling sick. If you have a fever, if you have any symptoms of COVID-19, stay home. The reason we're not meeting in person is somebody didn't do this. Um, COVID-19, it's not a joke. Stay home if you are sick. When you're on campus, keep your distance. Socially distance, six feet apart. If you are in a classroom where for some reason you can't do that, keep your mask on at all times. Wear a mask at all times. Wash your hands regularly. Don't touch your face. Don't sneeze on people. Um, probably even more important than that, if you have been tested for COVID-19 and you're positive, if you have been directly exposed to COVID-19, if you have taken a test for COVID-19, let me know. And then also, as I said before, an absence because of COVID-19 is forgiven. Now, if you are one of those people who thinks that you may have COVID-19, or if you've been exposed to it one way or the other, or if you've been around somebody with COVID-19, there are some steps you need to follow. This is available on the West Georgia Tech homepage. Uh, if you have a confirmed positive, if you, are, if you suspect that you've been exposed, or if you're experiencing symptoms, not only do you stay home, not only do you contact me, but there's this email right here, covid at westgatech.edu. You must contact them. Now, it's not to point fingers. It's not to make a list. It's not to, to do anything nefarious or evil. The reason they need to know is because they have to contact Trace. Uh, we're required to give you guys assigned seats. We're required to give rosters to uh, people if somebody gets sick. Um, this is very, very important. So if you do need to miss class because of uh, you've been exposed or you've got symptoms, let me know that you're not coming to class. Let this email know as well so that they can contact you and figure out what to do next. And then last but not least, you've got the course lesson plan. This is the same thing that's on the syllabus. Right, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this lessons tab. But before I do that, I'm going to exit edit mode. So you can see what it would look like for you. You got home page, announcements, syllabus, calendar, lessons, my grades, messages, and upswing tutoring. When I click on lessons, there's nothing here. That's because you have to complete the course agreement form which is in syllabus right there. It's basically five questions saying, yes, you understand what you're getting into. Yes, you agree to abide by the syllabus. Right, 
for whatever reason this isn't working. How nice is that? Okay, when I turn edit mode back on, it will show you everything. Um, it will show you the lessons folders and I'll show you where everything is turned in. Uh, just give me one second here. Internet is being horrible today. Okay. Um, the lessons folder just came up. It took about five minutes, but of course you didn't see any of that. The magic of pausing. Uh, Alright. The American Yacht, that's a second way to get to the textbook. So you can get to the textbook both on the syllabus and in the lessons folder. This reflection paper drop box, this is where all of your reflection papers will be turned in. I have the due dates listed here. And right now you will see that there is only one Dropbox open, that's so you don't accidentally submit your work to the wrong Dropbox. But as one op closes, the other one will open, so you'll only see one open at a time. The Museum Review Dropbox is right here. You can click on the Museum Review Dropbox, you'll see that Dropbox at the top. Your approved list of museums here in the middle, and then at the bottom you'll see the historical films you can use. Uh, the links here on the films, they don't go to the films themselves, they go to the trailer. That way you can watch and see if you like the idea of the movie or not, because I don't want you to spend two or three hours watching a movie that you hate. So if you choose to go the historical film route, take a look at some of these trailers and find out which movie you actually like so that you'll, you watch the whole thing. Now with the museum review, I want you to notice, it's due the last day of class, which is December 3rd, but, but you don't have to wait that long. If you wanted to do your museum review as soon as you watch this video and turn it in tonight, you're welcome to do that. Um, I just ask that you turn in your museum review by the last day of class. So if you're somebody who likes to work ahead and go and get things done right away, get that done before midpoint of the semester. It'll make the end of the semester easier. The SLO Dropbox will eventually be turned in right here. It will be due on November 25th. So I'm going to go over this in more detail when we're actually in person instead of scaring you over a YouTube video. And then here we've got all of our different lessons. Now the first thing you're going to need to do for this week and this week only is the student introduction. Nothing else is due this week. But next week um, you'll have to do some readings which are available in this folder. You'll have a video to watch, which is in this folder. And then you'll have one discussion and one quiz to do. The discussion is based on the readings. The quiz is based on the video. So for this week, there are four reading, or not this week, but next week, sorry about that. Next week, there will be four readings you have to do. I'll remind you that when I do my lecture video for Thursday. Um, you would answer the discussion questions based on those readings. You would watch the video sometime that week, and then you'll answer the, the quiz questions based on the video. And um, also those readings, these are the readings that you would use for your reflection paper. So you've got three weeks worth of stuff you can do on your first reflection paper. So lesson one readings, lesson two readings, lesson three readings. You just have to choose one of the readings from those first three folders and give your personal thoughts, ideas, or reflections on. Chapter two or lesson two, if you will, looks exactly the same. There's a link to chapter two, the terms you should know, two videos to watch, two readings, the discussion question go with the readings, the quiz questions go with the videos, so on and so on. All right, I don't want to make this video too much longer because I know our attention spans are only so long and this video is now 20 minutes uh, of your time. Uh, if you would do me a favor, when you get to this point, um, if you will, send me an email either on my email address or through Blackboard letting me know that you watched the entire video. And if you do that for me, I will give you a free 100 on a quiz grade. Easy way to start the semester. So if you've made it to minute 20, which is what's coming up right now, just send me a message saying, hey, I watched the whole thing, and you will see a 100 go in for your grade. Now, I apologize once again that we could not meet in person. Um, that should be in two weeks. 
but until um, Thursday when I do my first lecture video for you on online, um, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great week and a great weekend. Bye-bye.